When the bright moon in the dark night suddenly starts fading into a shadow, and when the shining sun of the day begins to lose its light, it doesn't just remain a normal space event. Instead, it creates a strange and mysterious feeling. On March 14th, a lunar eclipse happened, and now, on March 29th, a solar eclipse is about to take place. These two eclipses are not happening in just any month, but in the holy month of Ramadan in the Islamic year 1446. For centuries, Ramadan has been considered special for signs and predictions. This is not just a coincidence. In Islamic history, solar and lunar eclipses have not been seen as just normal events. Instead, they have been considered signs of big changes. Many hadiths, sayings of the Prophet, mention that one of the signs of Imam Mahdi's arrival is that there will be a lunar and solar eclipse in Ramadan. Today, the world is full of chaos, injustice, wars, and problems. In such a time, these eclipses have created a new excitement and curiosity among people. Many great Islamic scholars are talking about this. Some say this could be the sign mentioned in hadiths, while others say it is just a normal scientific event. But the real question is, what if this is the moment that was foretold? Is the world about to see a major change? Is the arrival of Imam Mahdi near? This discussion has become very serious, and in the coming days, more and more people will talk about it. Throughout history, whenever the moon and sun have gone into shadows, humans have looked up at the sky, wondering about the hidden secrets. On the night of March 14th, when the moon lost its brightness due to shadows, it did not seem like just a simple space event. Now, on March 29th, when the sun will be covered in darkness during the day, this question will become even stronger. Is this just a normal event? Or is it a sign of something big coming? These two eclipses are happening at a time when the world is already facing big problems, wars, natural disasters, political unrest, and social corruption. All of these match the descriptions found in old prophecies. Dear friends, Islamic traditions have described many signs related to the arrival of Imam Mahdi. One of those signs is the lunar and solar eclipse in Ramadan. This is mentioned in many hadiths. One hadith, narrated by Imam Darkutni, says that in Ramadan, the moon will be eclipsed on the first night and the sun in the middle of the month. Although some scholars have different opinions on this hadith, many believe it should be thought about deeply. History shows that whenever a lunar and solar eclipse has happened in Ramadan, people have felt anxious. In 1894 and 1895, when a similar eclipse occurred, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani claimed this was the sign proving his truth. However, most Muslims rejected his claim. Still, the fact remains that whenever such events occur, people immediately think of the hadiths. Now, in 1446 Hijri, the same situation has come again. On one side, scientists call it just a normal space event. On the other side, some scholars believe it is a sign of a major change. Some great researchers in the Muslim world believe that this is not an ordinary event, but holds a deep message from fate. If we look at other religious books, we find that not only Islam but other religions also see such space events as big signs. In the Bible, in the book of Joel, it is mentioned, the sun will turn to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. In Hinduism, there are also mentions of big natural changes happening before the arrival of Kalki Avatar. These changes include the solar and lunar eclipse. All these points show that different religions do not see such space events as just coincidences. Instead, they connect them with big future events. This is why, when the lunar and solar eclipses of Ramadan 1446 are happening, it is not just a topic of scientific interest, but also creates a feeling of mystery and curiosity. Even though these eclipses are normal according to science, their timing and pattern make people ask questions. When people on Earth look up and see the moon and sun turning into shadows, they may wonder, is this the moment we were waiting for? Friends, this is not just about beliefs and predictions. If we look at the world today, we can clearly see that things are more chaotic than ever before. Wars in the Middle East, instability in Europe, increasing natural disasters worldwide, and the overall decline of humanity. These could all be signs of the big change that religious texts have mentioned. 
This is why many great scholars are seriously thinking about this matter. Some believe that not every eclipse is a sign of Imam Mahdi's arrival. Experts like Sheikh Imran Hossein believe that astronomical events should be viewed from an Islamic perspective. Dr. Israr Ahmed also pointed out many times in his life that such events should be connected with Islamic prophecies. These questions bring us to a point where science and religion come together. On one side, NASA and other space agencies can accurately predict when and how an eclipse will happen. On the other side, religious teachings see these moments as signs of a great change. If this is really the sign mentioned in hadiths, are we standing at the beginning of a new era? If this is just a coincidence, will we see more of these coincidences in the future? Friends, these are the questions in the minds of those who try to understand the connection between history, religion, and astronomy. During this Ramadan, when Muslims around the world will be busy in worship, some eyes will also be looking up at the sky with hope and fear. The world is at a delicate turning point and these unusual events in the sky are enough to make us think. The solar and lunar eclipses of Ramadan 1446 are not just scientific events, they are a great sign. Is this the sign that was predicted? Are we entering a time when history is about to change? Friends, this is not the time to remain careless. It is the time to think, understand and improve ourselves. If this event is pointing towards a major change, are we ready for it? Are we ready to look at our actions? We should try to understand these signs in the light of the Quran and Hadith. We should listen to the scholars and bring our lives closer to the path of truth. This is the moment to strengthen our faith, to pray with sincerity and to reflect on these signs that may have been sent to wake us up. The question is, will we wake up? And in the end, we pray that Allah gives us the ability to understand Islam and follow it completely. This was today's video. What do you think about this topic? Let us know in the comments. Inshallah, we will be back with a new topic in a new video. Until then, take care of yourself, your loved ones and those around you. May Allah protect you.